Hey, what's going on, guys? Under Vassy bringing you a video this time of my top 10 Marvel Legends of 2018. Man, this was a great year for Marvel Legends, man. Um, each year they just keep getting better and better. Um, as far as any other lines besides the Mayfix Spider Man and a couple articulated icons, I really didn't pick up any other toy line this year. No Mayfix, no SH Figure Arts, no Rebel Tech, just straight Marvel Legends. And I'm not disappointed at all, man. Obviously, they can improve on some stuff, some paint, a little bit of sculpt. Articulation, obviously, and character designs. Um, but each year, they just keep getting better and better. So with my top 10, it was a little hard. Um, if I were to be able to do a top 20, these guys would also be able to make it. These are my honorable mentions. So uh, let's start left to right. Uh, Daredevil, one of my favorite Marvel characters and a character that I like to photograph a lot. Um, this version of the character, this sculpt and everything, we've gone like four or five times. And he just added to the list. If we got a Shadowland Daredevil, maybe he would have made the top 10. I do like this figure a lot, and I like the accessories he comes with. Uh, Multiple Man, I like him a lot. Um, a lot of people hate the costume. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I'm just happy that we have a Multiple Man in general. Um, the interchangeable heads are great. Uh, maybe if he was green, that would have been cool. But I do like that trench coat a lot. That's obviously him from X Factor. And in the Ultimate Universe, he also had the... Um, the trench coat when he was um, uh, a terrorist for Magneto. That was pretty cool in that universe. Next we have Apocalypse. I like him a lot. I just completed this figure yesterday. I like him, man. He's really cool. Um, maybe if they, they went the extra mile and gave us a interchangeable head and some interchangeable arms and hands. And maybe he was an inch taller. That would have been cool. But, again, he's a really cool figure. Next we got Deadpool. You can never go, go wrong with Deadpool. Classic Deadpool. One that I wanted for a while. He's really cool. He didn't come with his harness. That's from uh, the first version of Deadpool from the uh, two-pack with Warpath. But he's a really cool figure. Nakia, I like her a lot. But I just didn't really care for the figure. I liked um, Nakia in the movie. And I think Lupita is gorgeous. But having a Nakia figure itself it was a little underwhelming. At the time, we didn't have any Dormelage. And I'm glad that we have the Dormelage that we have now with the M'Baku wave but this figure itself didn't make the list just because i just really didn't care about having an ikea figure uh black panther the one thing that kind of made this figure a little underwhelming and he almost didn't make the top 10 was the necklace literally just the necklace um the necklace that he came with was actually white pearlescent white and i just thought it was really whack this is from the walmart exclusive uh, uh black panther and i think that works a lot better but he's a really cool figure. He almost made the top 10 list with another figure right here. Sasquatch. Um, I didn't complete him. He's missing a leg. Um, I just don't have cable. But I like him a lot. I like the size. He's a really cool figure. And he's just really nice, man. Uh, PS4 Spider-Man from the GameStop uh, exclusive. This figure was a pain in the butt to get, man. When he first came out, he was just a pre-order. You can only get him through pre-order. I would call GameStop every day. I would show up after work to GameStop every day. They knew my face. Hey, do you have the PS4 Spider-Man? No, I'm sorry. He's a pre-order. That's the only way you can get him. Okay. Do you have the PS4 Spider-Man? No, he's a pre-order. That's the only way you can get him. Do you have the PS4 Spider-Man? No, this guy's out of the country. But, I mean, if he's not back in the next five days, we can give him to you. Okay. I show up to GameStop. Do you have this figure? Oh, sorry. The guy's coming. I'm like, okay. Why don't you tell me that when I freaking called you? So... I go to the car, and I go to the website, and I'm like, man, let me just see if they have it at this other location. And he was on the website, and I got him. And then, uh, like, two weeks later, he started show up, showing up on pegs, which really pissed me off. But that happens. It just happens. I really like this figure, and I love the game, too, man. The game is really cool. Um, I like the body mold that he's on. Maybe if we got a classic Spider-Man on this body mold, that would be really cool. Next up, we have Doc Ock. I just don't really care about Doc Ock as a... Spider-Man villains. Spider-Man villains are one of my favorite types of villains, but I've just never really cared about Doc Ock and the fact that he doesn't come with Benny tentacles made him a little underwhelming. So that just kind of lowered him on the list. And last but not least, we have Spider-Man Noir with a Spider-Verse movie. Obviously, um, I would put him on here and he's one of my favorite versions of Spider-Man. He almost did make the top 10 list. And I like him a lot. I like the body mold that he's on. He's just a really cool figure. So these are all my honorable mentions. And before we start with the top 10 list itself, I want to show off the worst Marvel Legend that came out in 2018, in my opinion. And the absolute worst Marvel Legend of 2018 goes to Spider-Woman. 
I hate this figure so much. Um, the fact that she doesn't move and she is a spider character. She is like as agile as Spider-Man and all that. And this figure is just really bad in my opinion. The best part of the figure is just the legs. The head sculpt maybe. These glasses suck. It's just a really bad figure. And what sucks about her is she comes with the most important part to complete Lizard. Um, you know, he, she comes with the torso that um, attaches to the head, the arms, and the legs. And if you didn't get this figure, you can't complete Lizard. So that's why I got her. And I always say, if you don't like the figure, then don't pick it up. But I had to get the figure because Lizard is one of my favorite Spider-Man characters. But this figure is absolute garbage. At number 10, we have the Marvel Legends Okoye Build-A-Figure. She is a very, very good-looking figure, and she's quite poseable as well. Black Panther was a great movie, and I liked her in the movie a lot. Um, the lady who played um, Okoye, I think her name is Denai, she's gorgeous, and it translated very well on this figure. Um, I like the costume. The range of motion is pretty, pretty good on this figure, I'm not going to lie. Um, just a very good-looking figure. And we got a black character. Um, this is the, probably the first um, time that I've put a black character on my Marvel Legends top 10 list. And it's just a very good looking character and a good looking figure as well. At number 9 we have the Marvel Legends GameStop exclusive Archangel. I like this figure a lot. Um, I'm liking the fact that we have Marvel Legends at GameStop. And the fact that Hasbro and GameStop are working together to have exclusives. We got two exclusives from GameStop this year, and I like it a lot, man. This figure is very nice. You pay $34 just to get a repaint, but it's a good repaint, and he comes with a lot. He comes with, I want to say, four interchangeable heads. He comes with the Apocalypse accessory, and he's just a very cool repaint. Um, the classic version of Archangel, lighter blue, um, a pinkish red. I like this a lot. The wings are very nice. Very, very cool figure, man. At number 8, we have the Marvel Legends Okoye Build-A-Figure Wave and Black Panther. I like this figure a lot, man. Like I said, Black Panther was a great movie this year, and the merch and toys and everything that we got for this movie was great. Um, the fact that the standalone figure for the movie was Black Panther and that his figure was great is awesome. I mean, this is almost like a Spider-Man figure. You can get this figure in so many poses. I mean, you get butterfly joints, great range of motion. Just a great figure overall. Now, the problems I do have with this figure is the fact that, I mean, his chest does look like he's wearing a bra. And I did not like the T'Challa head. It was a little weird and a little light skin. And he's just a little small. I mean, if he was just a little bigger, like Killmonger, that would have been cool. He's a little bulkier, but he's just a very, very cool figure. You can get him in a lot of cool poses. At number 7, we have the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive hero Black Panther. I like this figure a lot, man. He's very, very cool. I actually bought him twice. The second time was to customize him into a regular Black Panther. But he's just very cool, man. I do like the um, kinetic energy. I felt like it wasn't translated as well in the film. But in the comics, I just liked it a lot. And I like this look in the comics as well. Um, and it just translated very well on this figure. Now, what I will say is I would wish that he was actually all pink, like in the legs a little more, on the shoulders, a little more on the back. Um, just a little underwhelming with the pink parts, but he's very cool. He comes with a lot of accessories. I like this necklace a lot. Like I said with the other Black Panther, that did um, kind of lower him on the list um, with the necklace, but this is the superior figure in my opinion. I uh, like him a lot, man. At number six, we have Marvel Legends Mysterio. And you can almost not see his face. And I like that a lot. You can actually see the skull. There was a variant where he had a green skull. And that was, like, really hard to get. But this figure itself was really hard to get as well. I mean, you cannot find it at retail at all. I found it through GameStop.com, actually. I was watching a podcast. And I looked to the side, like, on an ad. And he was there. And I was able to get him that way. But... Besides that, and I saw my GameStop once, I haven't seen this figure anywhere, but he's really cool. Mysterio is one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Um, the fact that we're getting him in the MCU finally in a Spider-Man film, we're getting Mysterio. That's just unbelievable to me. I just like him a lot, man. He is just a great figure. The body mold is really cool. I think this is a new body mold. I mean, it may be Darkhawk. I'm not sure, but the body mold is really cool. It's a very cool figure. 
Um, this part is just a little weird to me, the gap. But besides that, he's just a very, very cool figure. Mysterio, man. Oh, my God. It's freaking Mysterio. Oh, shoot. At number five, we have the Marvel Legends Apocalypse Builder Figure Wave Wolverine. Now, when I say that characters are my favorite, this is one of my favorite versions of the character, I really do mean that. I mean, the fact that we have a Wolverine figure in this look is just great. I mean, when I say that Spider-Man is my favorite character and this is one of my favorite versions of Spider-Man, we have that. And we have a 90s version of Wolverine that's tangible and is great. I mean, this is a great figure overall. I do have a couple problems with them, and I'll get into that in a second, but this is just a great figure. I mean, the brown suit version was great, and we just wanted to see the next thing. I mean, a 90s Wolverine. Me, personally, Astonishing Wolverine, the costume is my favorite Wolverine costume. It's just great. It's just modern. It's great. He wore it when he was with the Avengers. He had it in the Astonishing X-Men comics, and he had it for years, and I like that costume a lot. Now, the problems I do have with this figure is these claws man they just move around too much and they just they just don't stay in place and i mean the arm hair it doesn't really bother me but you can see where they did want to put it and people complain about these flaps on the head i mean it doesn't bother me i mean when he looked like this in the comics it was whatever to me i do kind of like the sharper look to him this looks a little more fierce and menacing like he's really going to kill you but i like this figure a lot he has really good height i mean just a very very clean figure at number four, we have the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive thing. I like this figure a lot, man. I remember before he even came out, I was a little nervous about Hasbro doing a thing figure because I didn't know how they were going to do it. I mean, they literally have to make a new sculpt for thing. I mean, they just can't use a mold like Juggernaut and just reuse it. They would have to do something completely different, and they did, and it was great, man. The rocks and the sculpt and the articulation is great on this figure. Plus, the fact that you get an interchangeable head and interchangeable hands and you're literally paying twenty dollars for a great figure like he's i want to say eight inches tall he comes with a bunch of accessories and he's great man um i just literally have no complaints about this figure i mean a lot of people hate this version of the thing where he has pants and the boots i would like to see that version or even a future foundation version of the thing but for what we get here and what he looks like He's great, man. I mean, I like this figure a lot. I could talk about this figure all day. He's really cool. I haven't had a chance to really pho uh, photograph him, but he is very, very clean. I like him a lot, man. And he completes the Fantastic Four. I mean, if you have them, great. If you don't, I mean, you kind of missed out. I mean, I would backtrack and get this figure and the entire team. At number three, we have the Marvel Legends Target exclusive Ross and Killmonger 2-pack Killmonger. Oh my goodness. This figure right here is so clean now the first version of the aquaria builder figure wave version that was already great to me it was already fire and then this figure came out i was like you know what's more of the same thing let me just get it anyways and then when i got it in hand it was so much better than i thought it would be i mean you basically get the exact same thing but it's just a little more movie accurate i mean the gray is a little more um, gray instead of um, the black one that they gave and it's a little more movie accurate you can see the gold is very very vibrant I like it a lot the chain is very nice and the accessories are the same but I do like the fact that they're a little more metallic looking and the Michael B. Jordan Killmonger head is very nice um, just a very clean figure out now the figure itself I love it I mean the other version I loved as well but just the articulation he's buff I mean it's just a very very cool figure I mean, I literally can't put him down. I mean, if I'm sitting down at the computer, I have him. If I'm taking a dump, I have him. If I'm working on any kind of video and I just have some kind of free time, I have him in my hand. He's just a very, very clean figure. I like him a lot, man. And before we move on to the last two, let's just give a round of applause for Black Panther as a character. I mean, we got two waves of Black Panther. I mean, we got so many other characters. I mean, I would have included the Shuri and Claw 2-pack. I mean, the Hero Black Panther, the Vintage Way Black Panther, this Killmonger. I mean, all the kids merch and all that, the t-shirts, all that. You got a Black Panther movie, um, TV show. Like, come on, man. Black Panther is balling right now. I mean, just the character itself is just doing very well, and I'm very happy about that. And not just that, he did actually make my favorite superhero list. And that's really hard to get into, and just the movie itself did that by me reading the comics, and I'm really happy that we have all these characters to represent that uh, universe.
At number two, we have the Marvel Legends Storm Build Figure Wave Omega Red. This figure right here is phenomenal. He is way better than the Toys version. And at the time, the Toys figure was the better figure. And then this figure came out and just put that figure in the dirt. I mean, just the articulation, the interchangeable parts. He's just a great figure, man. Like, the stature is incredible. The articulation, the butterfly joints. I do like this harness a lot. And my favorite part probably is the coils or the tendrils. And a lot of people will complain about them saying that weren't they bendy like the Doc Ock tentacles weren't bendy and they're pliable at least and you can have him choking a figure or have a figure wrapped around him and he comes with two of these and then two of the short ones which I thought was genius man and they're not the same like piece I mean each coil is different and I like that man this body mold is great um just a great figure overall very very menacing and imposing just a solid solid figure man and at number one, we have the Marvel Legends Lizard Build-A-Figure. Man, this figure is incredible. Like, I just have no words for it. Um, it took me over a year to complete it, but it was worth it. Um, the first figure I got was Prowler, and then each figure got harder to get as the year progressed. And I just, like I said, I um, just completed him. Um, I got the Spider-Woman figure, and I mean... Again, I hated that Spider-Woman figure, but just to have this figure completed finally was great. And then I just couldn't put him down. And even though I just got him, I mean, he's just cool. Like, Lizard is one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, like Mysterio. But there's just something cool about Lizard. He's just very, very cool. And he's just a very Hulkling beast, this figure is. And I just think he came out great, man. Like, just the sculpt. I mean, you get the lab coat with the doo-doo water or the dirty water. The big hands, the long tongue is pliable. The jaw, he has tour articulation. We haven't gotten tour articulation in years in Marvel Legends. I mean, the pants, the tail is cool. Um, just a very cool figure. You got the ripped shirt. I mean, come on, man. This figure is incredible. The tail, even it's textured. Just all new parts and sculpts and all that. He's just kind of heavy. I mean, this figure is dope. Like, no words beyond that. Like, this figure is so cool. Now, a lot of people have the problem of him uh, standing up straight. I mean, he's a lizard. He's a reptilian kind of guy. I mean, I don't. it doesn't really bother me. It's not like I'm going to have lizards standing up, like drinking a uh, coffee, laying in bed. But, I mean, he can stand up on his two feet. Um, or you can just have him on literally his um, heels. Or the tail can also balance him so he can actually stand up. So it's not a natural problem. But this figure is so cool, man. Like... Again, Spider Man's one of my favorite characters, and the fact that we finally have a Lizard, a Mysterio, and all those guys, even the Venom that came out, even though I didn't get him, was great. And just a very, very cool figure, and just a great year for Spider Man overall. I love this figure. I mean, I gotta end this clip or else I'm gonna keep talking about him, but this figure is so cool, and it made the number one spot. So that's my list. Um, like I said, man, great year for Marvel Legends. This is one of the few times in the last two or three years where I was able to complete almost every single Marvel Legends wave. The only ones I missed out on were the Venom wave. I don't have any of those. I think half of those figures were kind of whack. Um, the Thanos wave, I uh, just wasn't able to complete it. I just really didn't feel like getting those figures. Um, who else? The Sauron build a figure wave, I'm missing four of those figures. And the Spider build a figure wave, I'm missing Cloak and Dagger and House of M Spider Man. But. Everything else, I was pretty much able to complete every single wave that I wanted to. And like I said, these figures are great. And I can talk about them for hours and hours. And just a very progressive and solid wave for Marvel Legends overall. I want to see more of this. Like more innovative, new technology, new molds and whatnot. And I feel like by us collectors supporting the line and, and them having more um, deals with different companies like Walgreens. GameStop and whatnot doing stuff like that. They're making more money and we're getting up more of what we like We can see more waves. We can see builder figures that we want to see instead of just you know Corporate stuff and being like hey a Marvel movies out. So we have to put out this figure I mean, I want to see stuff that I want to see you know what I mean? And I'm just glad that we're getting 
great waves and this year alone we're getting so many waves of marvel legends and i'm just happy about it man i'm just really really happy about all these figures right here and even the figures i mentioned in my honorable mentions those are great and even figures i didn't even mention at all those figures were great too except for spider woman that figure sucked but yeah man um let me know what you guys have as your top 10 in the comments or maybe post a video um referencing me or something like that and yeah man all right guys thank you all for watching and i'll catch you later peace Crispy.